Cambridge to go punting. The girls were a little scared. Okay, girls, let's go! <laughs> okay, we got more excitement for punting, or are we just scared? Zara's into it. Anna's <laughs> not into it. <laughs> go, come on, Zara, don't follow your sister. Stuck, what would you have to do? Oh, I don't know. Set So Hannah, excited for punting yet? <laughs> or still terrified? I'm still terrified. How are you feeling about the punting now, Hannah? Uh, yeah. How deep is the water, Daddy? Like deep enough for the Loch Ness monster. That's it. See you back here. I'm just scared we're going to fall in. You're not going to fall in. <laughs> But nowadays you can study any subject at any college and you go to the lecture halls in the centre of town where you do your lectures, so with people from all different colleges. So there is no real educational benefit to going to one college ahead of another. So this is the back of St John's College. So this building is called the New Court Building, covered in a lovely plant called Creeping Virginia, which is called Creeping as it is actually creeping further and further forward on the college every year. It does turn a lovely red colour in the autumn time as you can see. There's a very famous scene in the film The Theory of Everything about Stephen Hawking, if anybody's seen that. It's a lovely bridge just ahead of us. This is the Bridge of Sighs, as in to sigh, like... Oh. This is named after the one in Venice, which runs from a courthouse to a prison. And prisoners were said to walk over the bridge for the final time before their execution. And so walking over the bridge, they were said to let out their final sigh walking over it. Sadly, here at Cambridge, no students get executed. But in the olden days, they did walk over the bridge and they used to take their exams in the old court building. Which a lot of punters do have to be careful. It's very easy to hit your head. Some punters do do this. Hit the head like that. But... So to this day, they still own the majority of the Felixstowe docks, the Felixstowe port. Um, they also own the O2 Arena in London, so get a lot of profits from that. They also own a 20% stake in Tesco supermarkets. Got about 20% of profits, and it's actually said you can walk from Cambridge to Oxford, walking solely on Trinity College land, which is a distance of about 80 miles. So they really do own a lot of land throughout the UK. So his presence is shown on Trinity Bridge here and there's a shield just there with the line to show King Henry VIII and the Tudor Roses just below it. Yes, Trinity College being the biggest and the best college is also known for having the biggest and the best May Ball here at Cambridge. As you may have heard of the May Balls, these are big, big affairs, essentially just a giant party for the students once they finish their exams. And yes, they will get very, very drunk and try and stay out till about nine in the morning the next day. Anyone who achieves that milestone actually gets a spot in the survivors photo, which are held up in the college every year. <clears throat> but these are really, really big affairs. So Trinity actually spent about 3.2 million pounds on their May Ball last year, as you can probably tell. So the design of this building, as with many revolutionary designs in Cambridge, is actually meant to look like the bow of a ship coming out of a storm, as you can somewhat see. You will see some more hideous modern builds further down the river and I'll point them out to you. Cambridge still is this mix of sort of fantastic historical old buildings and then these horrible 50s and 60s new builds really. Which in the majority of them are listed so they can't be touched, can't be affected, torn down, anything. So 
So you can see Clare on the left hand side in better detail. So this is the oldest college on the river, founded in 1326 and the second oldest college at Cambridge after Peterhouse, which was founded in 1284. So Clare was named after a woman called Elizabeth de Clare. So she actually earned her money, she was a very wealthy woman. She earned her money through a very odd means. And what she used to do was she used to actually marry very wealthy elderly gentlemen before they would actually die under very suspicious circumstances and then she would move on to the next one quite happily. So she did do this three times before the age of 27 and earned, her nickname, earned herself the nickname of the Black Widow. So after she had enough money to live the rest of her life, after marrying three very wealthy gentlemen and taking their money, she did never marry again. Enjoyed her life in peace. This is probably the most famous college here at Cambridge. The King's College Chapel on the left hand side is probably the most uh, famous building, most iconically Cambridge building. It makes it onto the Snapchat filter. Yes, the chapel is actually the second most photographed building in the UK after Big Ben, that big clock in London. You may have seen it. The college itself, though, was founded in 1441 by a man called King Henry VI. And when he founded this, the original name was Eton College. So the school of Eton was founded a year before in 1440. And the idea was that all students of Eton would finish there and uh, even regardless of their grades would actually come directly through here to Eton College and get a fantastic Cambridge education, despite maybe not being the brightest. As long as you had good family, good money, and sort of good connections into Cambridge, you could still get a Cambridge education for many years, even after that. Despite not possibly not being the brightest spark in the box. There's been a couple have slipped through the net, being not that intelligent, but still getting into Cambridge, such as a man called Prince Charles, who studied here many years ago. I do like Prince Charles though, don't we really? Whoever could pay the most would get one of these rooms, but now it's just apparently drawn randomly out of a hat to see who gets these rooms. But yes, they are absolutely magnificent inside. I think as well, if you're a music student, you also get a grand piano gifted to you in your bedroom as well because there's room for that and that's apparently necessary at Cambridge, yeah. <laughs> and that's Cambridge's ugliest building, called the Erasmus Building. So believe it or not, when this was first built, it was attempting to mirror the trees on the opposite side of the river. It's called the President's Lodge and this is the oldest building on the river. It was built around 700 years ago. And it was actually where the master of Queen's College still lives to this day. The very small windows due to very uh, old uh, Victorian window tax. So the Victorian window tax, yes, this would mean that basically they would tax you and they thought that the size of your house would be represented in how big and how many windows you had. But for giant buildings like this, to avoid paying the tax, what they did is they built very tiny windows or they bricked them up like that to avoid paying a tax. So this next bridge ahead of us, this is known as the Mathematical Bridge. So the story about this bridge is that it was designed by Sir Isaac Newton and he designed it with no metal to hold it up whatsoever. It was just the wood and the friction of the wood balancing perfectly against each other meant it could stand up on its own. As you can see there is metal holding up the bridge nowadays. This is due to the fact that some of Newton's students were quite intrigued to see how it was built. So they attempted to take it down one night and attempted to rebuild it. As you can see they were sadly not as intelligent as Newton had to use the metal to hold it up. As you can see nowadays. As I say, that's how the story goes about the bridge, but sadly that is not a true story, I'm afraid. But around 20 years after Newton died, and he had nothing to do with it whatsoever. So this bridge is very famous and is the reason we get a lot of Chinese tourists into Cambridge, just to see this one bridge. As there's a very famous poem in China, written by a poet who studied here at King's College. He actually wrote a poem saying, Farewell Cambridge, Cambridge in Chinese is Sai Bia Kung Chao. I did enough revision, I did all my work, it was the college. The teaching obviously wasn't good enough and you failed me. So to get his revenge on the college, he actually climbed out on the outside of the college one night and climbed to the top of the spire. And on top of the left-hand spire, he actually put an orange traffic cone. The college obviously needed to remove this, and they started building scaffolding this end of the college to remove it. So after the first day of the scaffolding being built, it actually started to get dark, and they'd only reached about three quarters of the way up on this end of the college. They said, well, not to worry, we'll just get back at it in the morning, we'll build the other quarter and we'll get the cone down in the morning. But sadly, when the builders arrived in the morning to carry on building the scaffolding, they looked up and they'd actually seen that the boy had been up again in the middle of the night. He'd picked up the cone this end of the college where the scaffolding was being built and had moved it all the way to the other end of the college, which they were not too happy about as they had to start building the scaffolding all over again. Above the Clare College Gardens, you can see a rather ominous brown building with quite a tall pole on top of it. So that is the University Library and that's accessible to all students of Cambridge University. So we are passing the Wren Library just on our right hand side now. So this library has got some very very famous works in it. It's got around 80,000 books and some of the most notable ones include the first ever Bible translated to English. King James's Bible is kept in here in a nice glass case. 
alongside Sir Isaac Newton's handwritten Principia Mathematica. Girls, what, what was the best bit about punting? Um, seeing well. Seeing well. Ah, ha, ha. Best in it ever. I just tried it all together. Best it in it nice. ever. And it was so nice because I just tried it all together. I like Italian food. Uh, like that. Pizza is best And I also like Wagner food, which is Japanese. So clearly I don't like it. Okay, ready, steady, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, six times for Zara. Right, three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, stop, seven for Hannah. What did you think about him, Hannah? We had a fun day, girls. Fun day, Hannah. Yeah. Only been that on YouTube then.